गुड आफ्टरनून अजय सो अजय जस्ट ब्रीफ मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ योर करेंट रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी योर करेंट टीम साइज राइट प्लीज गो एड ये सर माई सेल्फ अजय जॉन आई एम ग्रेजुएट बी सी इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन बैच एंड करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग इन इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक Five years I have experience. Currently I'm working at uh, um, uh, like f- uh, sorry, uh, five year experience in uh, Linux. And uh, I used to day day to day I am working with like uh, to building the server uh, in AWS Azure Alibaba and vCenter using Terraform. Mm-hmm. In May and uh, all, all related OS task uh, we will manage like to uh, adding the disk, uh, extending the disk. and uh, like uh, creating a error codes in blue cat and reserving the ips mm-hmm. and changing the uh, changing the error codes to like uh, if they have uh, migrated to other server uh, we are changing the host name to other servers in production and everywhere mm-hmm. and um, um, like all uh, os related task i have work on rhl 5 6 7 8 uh, and 9 also i have work uh, oracle linux and um, um, uh, Oh uh, yeah, that um, flowers I have work and um, I have work on Puppet uh, to install the software, user creations, mm-hmm. uh, and um, we use like uh, for scripting we using uh, Jenkins to automate something like to install uh, install some application in five servers or uh, to change some configuration. Uh, we we use some Ansible also to in that Jenkins. shell scripting plus ansible to do some kind of automation to change something some content in that uh, like as per our policy need to change some contents uh, we we used to uh, do that and um, uh, i i have created a github action to check, uh, check we we are managing the sudoverse using a uh, git repos so like um, i see most of the time there are uh, uh, like uh, uh, that syntax check uh, the without syntax check they are uh, they are uh, pulling uh, they are requ- uh, creating the pr request and they are merging the main branch and it will get the um, frequent alert for that uh, the syntax error so mm-hmm. used to that i have created one github action in the github action it will like it will check the syntax error like v0-cf that slash etc Mm. Uh, that it will check the syntax error uh, for the all uh, all all the sudoverse file in the repo we are managing so it will uh, in the github itself it will check this integration check if it's failed it will not um, uh, we can't uh, merge that uh, pr uh, uh, this is all about and i have uh, and i have uh, worked on i have uh, mostly work on aws i have uh, some Uh, easy to ek eks and i have uh, so i have some ideas about uh, kubernetes docker i have certified on kubernetes sir okay okay that's very good uh, ajay so uh, ajay i was going through your resume right so this resume has almost everything according to me uh, okay. it is having linux it is having shell scripting as a skill set right and uh, few of the devops tools also you have mentioned aws also you have mentioned and uh, right you have extensively not only worked with linux but i can see with aws and other devops tools also right but yes, since uh, this interview as you requested it's mainly going to focus on uh, linux administration and the next mock interview uh, i am going to take your for the aws and then once you prepare for the devops i'm going to take your devops right so it will be in a step wise okay fine okay sir so yes how much you rate yourself in linux out of 5 uh, uh, out of 5 uh, 4 sir okay <laughs> very good so can you explain me that why slash etc pass wd files kept separated in linux and what security or functional concern would arise if they were combined into a single file ajay yeah sir actually slash etc password uh, like uh, if you are installing an application or anything we can we can able to readable that content like our password and everything everyone can readable but uh, in slash etc shadow Mm. it is like root root can only read uh, read the content and it is mm. like more secure uh, we have to uh, like uh, to save the password in slash etc status sir okay just try to elaborate more into this one right the permissions also you can mention right what all permissions are there slash etc uh, right pass wd file or slash etc shadow file is there right so uh, and yes sir rest all is fine okay so uh, you are managing a linux system ajay okay 
and need to unmount a file system but unmount command fails right what could be the possible reason preventing the unmount operations and how would you troubleshoot this issue uh, okay sir uh, actually uh, so uh, first thing i will i will make sure that uh, i am not inside the directory uh, which i am going to unmount so first thing i will check on that Mm -hmm. pwd and i will check on that uh, is i am currently sitting inside that directory because mm -hmm. if you are sitting inside the directory we cannot unmount the disk mm -hmm. then i will check is there any process running uh, in that uh, directory like uh, using uh, ls of command list of open files i will check mm -hmm. on that sir mm -hmm. and then i i used to check if there are uh, some servers uh, some files are running and i will use f user hyphen hyphen c hyphen new then i will list all the users are running so mm -hmm. i can use f user hyphen c hyphen c k and mm -hmm. i can uh, queue that all the um, uh, users are so uh, using that i can able to unmount the uh, file system very good very good okay so uh, you are attempting to create a file on a specific partition right but you are receiving a permission denied error there is no issue with disk space or file permission what other potential reasons could cause this and how would you troubleshoot this one ajay yeah it's most probably there is no permission issue it's because of i node sir uh, i i will check that file system with the i node like mm -hmm. um, uh i i will check df hyphen i if that uh, special uh, i i for uh, i not checking so mm -hmm. if that beyond the i not if we can't create any uh, any files or if mm -hmm. we, or in case if you are deleting some file the process should be run so we can kill the process so we can able to create uh, create if there is no permission issues uh, like uh, like uh, there is no permission issue we can uh, uh, we can create it sir checking the i not okay so have you worked with nfs server ajay uh nfs server um, uh, server configuration i i am not work but <laughs> i have i have configured okay. because like uh, that aws they will give that nfs server mm -hmm. uh, server they will give and i will configure that in uh, client server sir okay okay so have you tried to mount something any directory on the nfs share uh yes sir okay so when you try to mount your command fails with error like access denied or connection refused then how you are going to troubleshoot this one uh, first i will check that uh, using that ping and i will check that is that server is running or not and uh, if that server is running uh, i will check that uh, the, the service which is running on that it is running or not i can check mm. on that mm. or in case uh, most probably i see like if uh, if that um, in the nfs server if you are changing uh, changing or renaming the file system in the slash etc export if you are changing and if we are not we are not renamed it in slash etc export fs uh, i will check on that also sir uh, very good so you are approaching to the other troubleshooting also this is a good approach where you are trying to see there are some other issues also you will be encountering while you will try to mount something ajay okay like stale file issue there will oh, be yes, different sir. issues will be there okay so yes, have you tried to add anything into your firewall any services uh, like dns nfs ftp have you have you done that one like how to uh, add yeah. a D dns service permanently to configure firewall Uh, uh there are some ca ca command but i have not remember sir it's like a f hyphen hyphen firewall d something command is there yes uh, to adding that um, i i have configured that one in in my personal i have configured dns and uh, ftp server and nfs mm -hmm. also i have configured but actually i am not remember that exact commands like hyphen hyphen uh, um, firewall d and uh, we have we have list of commands to enable for that uh, sir i'm not okay. exactly remember that command yeah but i have done it okay just go through my 100 days of it corporate boot camp that is there i have explained like firewall hyphen cmd and then you need to add that service hyphen hyphen add right and if you have to add permanently then you need to provide the add is just to add a service permanently okay and you need to give that service name so see that i have explained in there okay that's fine ajay means you are there that's not a problem okay so yeah so you are troubleshooting a network issues in linux server and you need to inspect the current routing table 
uh, to understand how packets being routed and how would you check the kernel routing right table information in the system uh, route hyphen n i can using that command i will get the routing table information sir very good see the questions can be asked you this is a simple question that that how to check your routing table information but it could be asked to you in a different way ajay very good okay so in rhel9 uh, the uptime command shows the system load average okay but it is display three separate values right what is uh, what is the specific meaning of these three values and how should they be interpreted in term of system performance yeah in three field is there uh, sir uh, first it's for first one minute how the process is running and Very next uh, next next it will it will uh, check the five minutes how the process are running and next next uh, uh, next it's denoted for 15 minutes how the process are running sir hmm. like, like the load average how it is running in the process we can get the load average with the different different time sir and how they should be interpreted in term of system performance suppose your uh, load average is high if you see that it is uh, for last 5 minutes or for last 1 minute it is more than 1 <laughs> so how you are going to troubleshoot that one uh, so like i can check that uh, that process ps if and if and i can check that process or um, uh, uh, like that uh, i can use sar command hyphen d uh, use uh, uh, using that command also i can get some information how that um, that data that read write operation it is running hmm. uh, i can check uh, check with that sir okay okay fine so uh, did you get a chance to work on since you said you have extensively worked on disk partitioning and all right adding disks and all so what are the steps to safely extend a file system after increasing the size of a logical volume are there any specific command or consideration to keep in mind during the process uh, uh, yes sir uh, to extend the disk we can use that um, uh, vg extend command and so you are asking me the process or can you just explain the question <laughs> okay okay see again this is a very simple question that how to extend your file system but i have okay. asked in a different way that what are the steps you are means if you have to extend and what all uh, means uh, you have to keep in your mind that during this process what all things you have to take care okay so how to extend your lvm this is a simple question but i have asked in a different way to you okay uh, sir it's a vg extend that vg name and uh, we can bypass that uh, bypass that one and uh, and uh, like that vg is created we i we can check like vgs or vg display it is uh, uh, extended and then we can create lv extend hyphen l plus yeah. how many size we are going to extend we can slash dev that vg name slash uh, lv name sir and then uh, resize to fs resize to fs it is for uh, updating to the file system sir okay so what is the difference between mkfs and resize to fs uh, mkfs it is like uh, it is a structured way of uh, managing uh, managing the uh, structured way of arranging and managing uh, the files and directory in a disk and uh, resize to fs it's like updating uh, update uh, updating to our file system sir okay. file system update so uh, see uh, mkfs is uh, updating your disk table information okay yes sir means your disks are there which we format right correct so once you format that disk you use mkfs command to format the disk right to up so to update the partition table information mm -hmm. okay and resize to fs to organize the data and then what is e2fs ck then uh Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can go through those questions I have mentioned in there again. Hundred days of IT corporate boot camp. Okay. Actually, I have completed that answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 No issues. Uh. Okay. Have you done patching? Uh, uh no sir uh, it is like uh, we already uh, there is like an ansible playbook and it will be already running sir. Okay, I didn't so do like that. There only. Okay, in Ansible mm -hmm. playbook only. If you use patching only, 
so if issues arises after patching what is the procedure to roll back the packages uh, to previous version or are there any specific command or tools to handle this safely since you said uh, this is ansible is a tool right so yes, any tools and how you are going to roll back those means patches uh, uh, if if we need to roll back the any packages or we can use uh, rpm uh, rpm utility rpm or uh, rpm history uh, undo command we can use and we can reduce we can uh, downgrade the package or uh, version sir okay okay so have you tried to reduce your file system ever by chance ah uh, yes i have reduced the file system sir okay so how to reduce the file system in linux and uh, uh, file system reduction can be happen online or offline uh, uh on uh, offline only we can uh, we can do it sir so you, can you tell me the steps yeah uh Online. yes uh, first first we need to unmount in in slash etc fs tab mm. then uh, then we need to uh, run um, uh, e2 e, e, e2 fsck and that uh, hyphen f and that uh, which uh, which file system we are um, like that we are going to um, reduce we can give that one Mm-hmm. then the next step uh, resize to fs and that um, f- file system name and mm. like if you are uh, if if we are like 1 gb of disk and we are um, reducing that uh, 300 mb mm. so we can resize to fs we can give the uh, partition name and and 700 mb because we we left the 700 mb and th- that is we need to run then mm. we have to run lv reduce mm. hyphen l that which which space we are going to remove 300 we can give uh, hyphen l um, minus l and uh, 300 and that disk name sir and then uh, 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 then it, we can we can check on that sir okay okay since you are managing almost 4000 servers i can see in your resume right so mm-hmm. in production environment any server is rebooted automatically how will you troubleshoot that server is rebooted by someone or it's rebooted automatically if it's rebooted automatically then how and where will you check the logs uh, slash et slash etc syslog and uh, that me- syslog or messages i will check on that sir and also in that uh, last reboot uh, grep hyphen less we can get the informations like mm-hmm. uh, it is rebooted or uh, i will check is there any cron job is set for uh, like any any patching or something is reboot there i will check on that cron job also sir good and and uh, journal journal slash yes. etc journal also i can check on that sir okay okay yeah that's fine so uh, you use find command on a regular basis in your environment find or a grep yes. command yes sir okay so in linux how can i use the find command to search for uh, all dot log files in the current directory and its sub directories and then execute a grep search for the keyword error within those files right and is there a way to optimize or improve this command for real time troubleshooting mm, yes sir so uh, we we can uh, we can use find command and that uh, directory uh, where uh, we are like if we are uh, checking slash it uh, some logs in uh, slash log var var slash log and then we can hyphen type if it's a file we can give a hyphen type and mm. f Mm. then we can give hyphen name hyphen name in star dot log we can give mm. and uh, then uh, then uh, is there any specific date i need to check or uh, something error. i need to list that sir? is what i said you need to okay. search oh, okay. a keyword error yeah okay name i i will give that um, uh, uh, error or or sorry sir i i will use um, that uh, find command and uh, that location uh then type hyphen f then um then name uh, name of that uh, lo- name mm. and i will use uh, exec command and mm. grep errors uh, sir and uh, and there is uh, um, uh one slash also i i will use sir i, I know fine. that but I- <laughs> <laughs> that is fine that is fine you are right so 
how to delete a logs whose ownership change 45 minutes before from root to splunk mm -hmm. ownership ownership i can use uh, c time commands are using uh, c time i can use that one fine using fine command uh, find hyphen uh, that one i uh, find uh, and um, like uh, for uh, c time uh, i think i, I can get that uh, detail sir okay just go and check this one because this is important just now which question i have asked you uh, in my linux 100 plus interview question and answer it is mentioned over there okay this is important okay so uh, if a physical volume pv in an lvm setup is failing or becomes faulty okay so what steps should be taken to identify and resolve the issues while minimizing downtime are there specific recovery or replacement procedures yeah we can we can move the pv sir like uh, we can uh, yeah yeah, uh, uh, for, yeah first first we first we need to like uh, we need to uh, extend the vg vg Mm -hmm. uh, vg extend uh, and that vg name and that uh, that disk name we can extend that one uh, then uh, we need to pv pv move command and the old old uh, pv name and the new name new name so it will be it will be moved to that uh, new 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 pv sir then vg reduce command we can reduce that vg the faulty pv we can reduce it sir okay okay so Oh. I think I am done with uh, that Linux administration part, Ajay. Right. Okay. So please let me know when you are uh, going for the cloud engineer role or AWS engineer role. Okay. I'll take that mock interview for you. Okay. So anything else you wanted to know from my end? Yes, sir. Actually, I um, uh, my uh, uh, tomorrow I have an interview for uh, Linux in second round. Mm. So it is like almost it's like a, um, they are handling some physical servers uh, like almost uh, and um, uh, uh, that uh, they they used to ask me in the first round also most uh, most thing uh, they are asking me system tuning. So I can't answer much things, but I I just explain that flash etc is. is Cisco, CCTL, there is a directory inside the directory. We mm -hmm. can, that parameters, we can pass that one. I tell most of them because I didn't actually, that system tuning things, I didn't work on that. They mm -hmm. mostly ask that kind of questions uh, like. That is uh, related but, to uh, performance tuning, they are asking. So those uh, yes. questions are also there. Uh, how you are going to tune your server in term of performance related issues okay so this mm -hmm. will be the question which so you have to include everything over there the top command the sar command right so uh. every means whichever comes under your uh, process management those things you need to look into this one uh, jay Okay, sir. And uh, they are asking me about to uh, to like uh, in that JD they for raid also they are uh, expecting. Ah. So the manager told me like uh, we are managing physical server. So raid is also there will be a part. So is that difficult to set up the raid things, sir? Uh, because I am not uh, aware of that one. Uh, there is one hardware raid and there is something called software raid so, also. Okay. So you need to do that. I have explained some RAID 5 or something in my Linux 100 plus interview question and answer. I have already explained this one. But they will ask you that how you can set up those RAID and all. Okay. So that thing you need to little bit explore into this one. Because now nobody is doing physical RAID setup and all. Okay. So, but they will ask you what is RAID 5, RAID 3, like that the question RAID 0. So these questions will be there. These questions, I think, I have included two, three questions related to red. Okay. So mm -hmm. within that question, you can uh, search by yourself also. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So I'll give you the feedback, Ajay, in uh, the mail for this Linux administration interview. And please okay. be prepared for the cloud engineer, AWS cloud engineer role also. And I'll ask you the question related from AWS. Okay. okay and sir. then I'll ask you. Uh, for the DevOps role also interview question and answer. So you will be prepared at all the levels. Okay. Thanks. So you yeah, no need thanks. to worry about job everywhere you are going to fit. Okay. Yes, sir. I always for uh, following your uh, channel and everything, sir. That class also I am for following also. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ajay. Anything else uh, you wanted to discuss?
uh no sir actually so i am i i have some but if if i am going to purely in linux so is that good for me or uh, how because like i think it's a management round in the next round i probably i don't know because uh, that manager told me like everything this is happening and this is things so is that good for my career i i am going to again for a linux role or uh, something it is purely purely core linux sir people from recently i have picked career counseling of a person who was into development okay but now he wanted to move into the infrastructure side especially into linux administration he wanted to do rhcsa i i thought that why is see application by is going forward uh, i don't wanted to uh, demotivate anyone over here but yes the opportunity will be less because most of the thing will be taken care by ai tools right whether it's a web designing or building a websites and all right or any application and all coding point of view and all right so there are so many tools are available but what about operating system right see a linux administration job is not uh, it's like that you are thinking that okay you are going for a linux administration job so it's 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 uh, you are downgrading yourself right no So, what about packages? Means, what have you discussed the package point of view? Ah, uh, yes, sir. It's ah, uh, it's almost seventy uh, to eighty percent salary, right, sir. See, <laughs> okay, because they are see most of the work in in India is ah uh, uh, you also know it's a support job. Okay, in the mm-hmm. operations, basically, I call this operations and management, right? Mm-hmm. So, here, ah, uh, you are going to get a job. especially even if you are working as a devops engineer right or a sari engineer or a platform engineer or even a cloud engineer so you need to work in the dev support role only correct yes sir so that is there so don't worry about that one uh, i think that is good if you are getting a good package then go with that one same thing see go since i am going to take your interview in all the roles right so it's not only so wherever you find okay no uh here i am getting good package so you can go with that one oh okay sir yeah understand this sir. is my suggestion okay so i am not telling you that you should only go with linux administration job but i said that i am going to uh make you like that that you should be able to qualify for the for all the roles right it's not only linux administration it should be a cloud engineer it should be a devops engineer or sre or a platform engineer anything right but you need to decide that where i am getting good package now you okay. have all the skill sets you are able to give mock interviews also so you need to decide on that one okay so wherever you are getting good please go with that one yeah okay. thanks sir yeah okay ajay just take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai hind Yeah, thank you, Vaisal.